So, so it's not like when you first start practicing, you think of uh, your technique as being a, a, an athletic thing, like a strength and speed related activity, but it's, it's actually more subtle than that. It's more, I would say, like a heaviness and relaxation and using your body properly. So uh, in, in that movement, in, in Joan, where you go from here to, to like that, what you gotta feel is, well, you can start by just having your hand up here, don't even use the stance, have your hand up here, and just let your body kind of, like this whole part of your body, just kind of fall and get heavy into your partner. So it's just from like here, that feeling. So it's not, it's not stiff, it's more like it's just settling in. So from here, just like relaxing. Then you can start assuming the, the kamai, like that, the stance, and the same idea. But it doesn't even have to be fast. So take the things that you think are a part of it, like speed. But later on it will be fast, but take that out right now, and the muscular strength that you think is so much a part of it, take that out right now, and just get the relaxed heaviness of the movement so you feel the connection. So when I'm stepping in, it's like that feeling. So I'm not bouncing off him. It's like all of my weight, kind of like finding the sweet spot in the tennis racket where just you feel everything is coming together at the right time. That's what you want. Then later, no, I'm not going to do this, I won't do it really hard, but later then, then you do interject the speed, coming in harder. But for now, just get the heavy feeling, just get the feeling. Nothing on my behalf is giving. The heaviness of my body is settling in, and it's like the energy is not on the surface, it's almost it's penetrating into my partner. So that's why he's moving and I'm not bouncing off. I'm just getting soggy and settling into the movement. And when you're doing the kata later on your own, you're going to feel when, you've got that, when it does that, you'll just feel it. Just like hitting the sweet spot. You're going to feel all of your heaviness and relaxation and the internal dynamic of your body sort of come to a crescendo right at the spot you want to hit on. But it's not about being tight. It's about sinking, feeling relaxed, kind of connecting your body so that everything goes that way. Okay? Try it again and just lightly tap your partner kind of slightly below the solar plexus so you feel that connection. Okay, one more. Okay, another way maybe to approach it is um, because the, the, the really the whole focal point is that last little connecting element. And uh, you've got a lot of other stuff in the kata, for example, preceding that because you're in this big expanded sokomanuke and you're shifting the kimodachi and you're making, so there's a lot of movement inherent there, but what you're really working on is the very last little increment of it. So what you might want to try is just, just do this, just kind of get to this very last little increment, just like from here to there, and just get that connection feeling, like that feeling. This is like, it's almost like if you were to take a hammer, like say I'm holding a hammer, and I hold it with my fingers, and I just, and it's up against the wall, and I take it out like this, and I let it drop, and the heaviness goes dunk. Can you picture that? It's, it's the relaxed heaviness of the hammer falling. That's, how, that's sort of how your hand wants to feel it. That last little bit of the punch. Like that. Like that. Even really tight, the same, just really just. So maybe start in a very short movement and get that heaviness feeling. And then start coming a little further out. And then later all the way to here. But You want to accentuate just that last little bit, that heaviness going in like a hammer and okay. But really small movement now. In that short, heavy, heavy dropping feeling, if you were to vocalize that, it would be like kind of like if you were to just go, uh, that kind of feeling. Uh, it's very subtle. It's not like it's not it's not like that, it's like uh, that feeling. Very subtle and and that vocalizing sentiment that you're sort of like trying to manifest in the feeling of the movement is really what the ki ultimately does become anyway. So ki should actually be slightly different for every technique because it's basically the vocalization of the kimochi, the feeling that you're experiencing. So every technique has a little different feeling, so every ki has a slightly different resonance. You understand what I'm saying? Oof. But just to kind of like in a practice, and to kind of really draw out the technique and make it a little slower, if you just get that sort of relaxed, like 
like really slow, kind of like that feeling. Ah, oh, just dropping. Now later, later what you're going to do is this, this little relaxed heaviness that you're getting with just the end of your hand, like that, you're going to start to put that in, in your whole body. So when I'm moving, that relaxed heaviness is all through, is all through my body. I'm trying to really be explicit there, but it's like a little bit faster to be. It goes all through your body, not just not just heaviness here, but through your whole body heaviness. That what you put right here just a second ago, you're going to try to get it in in your whole disposition, everything. But start, start here first. Then work out. Then more. Hey. Okay. Hey. Try it again. Ah, uh, that feeling. Try when you try really hard. Uh, oftentimes, it's your tryingness that, that's what's actually getting in the way. And what I like about that is that that's kind of like a metaphor for all of your living experience. And when you try to force an issue or control an issue, oftentimes the more it, it's, it doesn't work. It gets out of your hands. So when I'm trying to punch with power, and you can get really tight and really intense. A lot of times, it's that's the thing that's holding you back. Because to some degree, it's not natural. Like, think about always trying to find a movement that's natural. So when I just sort of let go and deliver the punch just with its natural heaviness, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to force the issue. Then it starts to go my way. Or at least it goes where it's intended to go. Okay. So, sometimes we think of our training as, as building, but in many ways our training is discarding what you don't want and just finding the essential thing, the natural thing. You know, is the movement just naturally occurring? Am I just settling with my weight properly? Do you follow what I'm saying? Oh. So you want to try to somehow dial in that, that frame of mind where you're in this, you have intention, but you're in a neutral place that still allows things to happen the way they should in a natural fashion, not forcing it. I think just living in general, that's a good way to approach it.